In the fourth part of this Active Directory Microsoft video series, we are going to promote a Windows Server 2016 server to a domain controller, including DNS and Global Catalog. So far, we have joined our Windows Server 2016 to the Windows Server 2012 R2 domain and a prepared Windows Server 2012 R2 domain for Windows Server 2016 domain controller. Now, let's move to our Windows Server 2012 R2 domain controller first. Now, here you can see we have a computer account of our Windows Server 2016 server under Computers Container. After we promote the Windows Server 2016 server to the domain controller, the account will move to our domain controller's container. Now, let's move to our Windows Server 2016 computer. Let's log into the server as a domain administrator. And on the server manager dashboard, let's uh, click on manage, select add roles and features, click on next on before you begin console, select role piece or feature based installation and then click on next. Now uh, on select destination server, select server from the server pool and we have only one server under our server pool and that is the our Windows Server 2016 computer. Let's click on next. Now on select server role screen, you have to select Active Directory to me services. Select it. Click on add feature on add features that are required for Active Directory to me service console. That will also include management tools that is required for Active Directory to me service. Let's click on add features. Let's click on next. Next again. Next again. And let's click on install to start the installation process. Once the Active Directory to me service binaries have installed, click on Promote this server to a domain controller link. In the deployment configuration windows, select add a domain controller to an existing domain. Now already our domain name mylab.local is selected because this server is a part of our domain mylab.local. And already the credential is also supplied and that is mylab slash administrator that is our current user account. Let's click on next. In the domain controller options windows, Ensure that both DNS server and global catalog checkbox are selected. Confirm that the site name is set to default first site name because we have only one Active Directory site for our domain. Now you have to specify the directory service restore mode password. Let's specify the password and click on next. On DNS options page, click on next. On the additional options page, select our domain controller SRT-DC01 in the replicate from drop down box. Let's click on next. On the path window, click on next because we are not going to change the Active Directory database, log files and sysfold folder path right now. On the review options windows, let's click on next. On the prerequisites chat windows, confirm that there are no issues and then after you are able to start the installation process. Let's click on install to start the installation process. Now installation process begins and server will automatically reboot after installation finished. After reboot, let's again log into our Windows Server 2016 as a domain administrator. Let's press with the password and then press enter. Once you log into Windows Server 2016 as a domain administrator, now let's verify the domain controllers for our mylab.local domain. Let's click on tools. Select Active Directory Users and Computers. X1 mylab.local. Let's click on Domain Controllers Container. And here we can see we have a two domain controllers. The first one is our Windows Server 2012 R2 domain controller, and the second one is our Windows Server 2016 domain controller. As you can see, the both DCs are Global Catalog Server and stored under default first site name Active Directory site. Now let's open DNS Management Console as well. Let's click on Tools. Select DNS. Expand your server name, that is WS2016. Expand for lookup zone and click on underscore msdcs.mylabroker. Here we can see we have a two NS for our domain and that is SRTF in DC01 and WS2016. Let's click on mylabroker zone and right click on it and select properties. Let's click on name server step and here you can see we have a two name server for our mylabroker domain. And that are SRT FNTC01 and WS 2060. Let's again click on OK. And now let's open Active Directory Site and Services. Under Active Directory Site and Services, expand sites, expand default first site name, expand servers, 
and verified that WS2016 is listed under servers under default for signing. Here is your WS2016. Click on NTDS settings. I click on automatic generated link and select replicate now. Click on OK. So you are receiving a message that uh, replication is successfully happening between our both domain controllers. Let's check the same for our SRTF and GC01. All task, check replication topology. Click on OK, right click and select refresh. Here we are not seeing any replication link between our SRT and DC01 and WS 2016. Let's move to our Windows Server 2012 R2VM and let's log in as a two-minute administrator. Let's open dsite.msc console. Expand sites. Expand default for site name. Expand servers. Expand SRT and DC01. Right click on it, select all tasks, check replication topology. Click on OK, right click and select refresh and now try to check the replication between WS2016 and SRD PNTC0. The previous addressing message, Active Directory Domain Service has replicated the connection. OK and let's do the same for WS2016. OK, now let's move back to our 2016 domain controller. Let's right click on NTDS setting, select all tasks, select check replication topology. OK, right click and select refresh. Now we are able to see automatic generated link from WS2016 domain controller. Right click on it and select replicate now. OK, we are receiving a message back to directory domain service has replicated the connection. So now our replication is successfully happening between both domain controllers, Windows Server 2012 R2 and Windows Server 2016. So this concludes the demonstration for ensuring Windows Server 2016 as a domain controller for an existing Windows Server 2012 R2 domain with DNS and Global Catalog Server Rule. In the next part of this video series, we will transfer the FSMO rules to Windows Server 2016 domain controller. And that's it for this video demonstration.